The Electronic Church of God of Arizona brings you the Lord's Care Ministry, and it all comes from God's Library, the Bible. Welcome to the Lord's Care Ministry, the fifth work day of the week, preparation for the Lord's seventh day Sabbath, which is tomorrow. Your calendar calls it a Saturday, it's a pagan name, but came out from the heavens for Saturn, but the Lord calls it his seventh day, and that's what we should call it. We're on October 12th of the year 2012. Well, brother, let's get right on over into the Lord's care ministry. I'm here to search for knowledge and truth. Day 288 of the year 2012. Today's little study is getting into God's stride. Getting into God's stride. Brethren, I suggest you write the chapter and verses down that we give you here so that you can go back and study the whole context and get the whole meaning at your own leisure. You can use the pause button down here in the corner, brethren, to start and stop this little study as we go along so that you'll be able to open up your own Bible, read chapter and verses right along with us. With all that said and done, let's get right into getting into God's stride. And to do that, we're going to go to Genesis chapter 5 and verse 24. Enoch walked with God. The true test of a person's spiritual life and character is not what he does in extraordinary moments of his life, but what he does during the ordinary times when there is nothing tremendous or exciting happening. A person's worth is revealed in his attitude towards the ordinary things of life. When he is not under the spotlight, see John chapter 1 verse 35 through 37 and also John chapter 3 and verse 30. It is painful work to get in step with God and keep pace with him. It means getting your second wind spiritually. In learning to walk with God, there is always a difficulty of getting into his stride. But once we have done so, the only characteristic that exhibits itself is the very life of God himself. An individual person is merged into a personal oneness with God, and God's stride and his power alone are exhibited. It is difficult to get in stride with God, because as soon as we start walking with him, we find that his pace has surpassed us before we have even taken three steps. It has difficult ways of doing things, and we have to be trained and disciplined in his ways. It is said of Jesus in Isaiah chapter 42 and verse 4, He will not fail or be discouraged. He never worked from his own individual standpoint, but always worked from the standpoint of his Father. And we must learn to do the same. Spiritual truth is learned through the atmosphere that surrounds us, not through intellectual reasoning. It is God's Spirit that changes the atmosphere of our way of looking at things. And then things begin to be possible which before were impossible. Getting into God's stride means nothing less than oneness with Him. It takes a long time to get there, but keep at it. Don't give up because the pain is intense right now. Get on with it. Before long, you will find that you have a new vision and a new purpose. Keep me this day without sin. Into your hands I commit my life. Live in me, blessed Lord, by your good spirit, that my life may be a messenger of helpless, helpfulness, pardon me, and blessedness. 
supply my daily needs. Teach me to have gracious and uplifting influence. Brethren, in 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 21 we read, For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. Brethren, in God's word only do we trust. Never in the tradition of men. Beware of the tradition of men that make void the word of God. Brethren, do you make void the word of God by putting off preparing yourself on the sixth day of the week, the preparation day for the Sabbath? Do you put it off? Do you say, well, I go to church on Sunday and I praise the Lord. He don't hear you. You're praising the God of this world. The Bible calls him Satan. Is the God of this world. And Sunday is his day of worship. Not yours. Or if it is yours, it should be. Change it to the Lord's day of worship. You can find that in Leviticus chapter 23 and read through and find out what is the Lord's Sabbath and his high holy days. None of these things that down here are these Sunday preachers teach you about Satan and his uh, December 25th and his Easter's and his Halloween where he's supposed to go out and scare the kids. That's not the Lord's way. The Lord don't try to scare anybody into submission. You have to do it by wanting to do it. Brethren, if you want to see the kingdom and have eternal salvation with the Father and the Son, get down on your knees and repent from following these here Satan days, the tradition of men. And that's all Sunday is, is a tradition of men not the Lord's day. Ask him to forgive you following that tradition. And ask him why you're on your knees to bring the Father's Spirit and the Son's Spirit within you so you can talk to him and learn his way of life. And brethren, while you're on your knees, ask for the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding of that love letter he has sent to you and that love letter is your own Bible. Well, brethren, with that, we're going to close for today. You all have a great and wonderful day. I know I will. God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. <laughs> Email me at 473 at cox.net or check into my webpage at www.fcg82.com backslash h2.htm Thank you.